This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello, I'm Paul Majors. Here's what's happening around Southern California. A former Marine who confessed to strangling a 19-year-old woman and tossing her body into an abandoned mine shaft was convicted of first-degree murder Thursday. Christopher Brandon Lee was found guilty in the 2014 killing of Aaron Corwin. The man charged with stabbing a toddler to death in a downtown L.A. clothing factory is being held on $3 million bail. Prosecutors say Ricardo Utui stabbed a three-year-old girl multiple times as she visited her mom at the factory on Monday. He faces murder charges and will be arraigned next month. In South Carolina, a missing woman was found chained up in a storage container in Woodruff. That's 80 miles northwest of the state capital, Columbia. The woman and her boyfriend were reported missing in August. Registered sex offender Todd Kolhep was arrested. The woman's boyfriend is still missing. Good news for part of California. The U.S. Drought Monitor announced that a rainy fall has helped pull almost a fourth of the state out of a five-year drought. However, three-fourths of the state remains in a drought, including Southern California. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, stay with CBS 2 News. Now, here's Jackie Johnson with a look at the weather. Thank you very much, Paul. Well, the winds are nice and light now, and they are starting to shift, so no longer Santa Ana wind. And with the offshore flow, temperatures will be back to normal. It will be sunny and comfortable for the rest of the work week into the weekend. And next week, pleasant weather will continue. Back to you. And that's your CBS 2 News Brief. Remember, we're always on. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11. And click listen live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere.